hey guys welcome back to my channel so i saw a video of bethany frankel that a couple of my friends posted about um basically going off on kim kardashian for losing a substantial amount of weight in a very short amount of time at some award show clearly i don't know which one it was i don't watch it so i don't know but she was at an award show and I don't know if she did an interview or how it came about, but she was basically bragging that she wanted to fit into this dress and she lost between 10 or 15 pounds um, in a substantial, uh, a substantial amount of weight in a short amount of time. I have a lot to say about this. First of all, I am into fitness myself, Okay. I'm not into fitness to be a stick. I'm not into fitness to fit in. I'm not into fitness for any other reason than to be strong and energetic and my healthiest, happiest self. And I do it a lot for mental health purposes because contrary to what society wants you to believe, it does help. They want you to believe that the easy, quick fix way that they provide and get money for is what helps. But that's a whole nother topic. But this does have a lot to do with mental health. And I'm not going to get into Kim Kardashian's mental health. I want to talk about the mental health of the person watching Kim Kardashian. I agree with Bethany Frankel. You could say what you want about her because apparently she too had a skinny company or whatever. So some people are saying, who is she to talk about this? If she's grown from it, great. All I can go by is the video I saw of Bethany Frankel, and I agree with her. Kim Kardashian has a huge audience of young, impressionable girls. Now, this is very uh, twofold because I feel like a lot of onus is on the parents for what they allow their child to watch and who they allow their child to look up to but with electronics being so rampant right now I don't know a kid who doesn't have one and I don't know that parents know enough about electronics to stop the kid from seeing what they want to see kids like five and up seem to know electronics and the ins and outs and ways to get around things better than the parents so I get it but we have to teach young girls not to look up to a fake world where if they doctor their face enough you can't even recognize them in person where they can slim their waist in filters and pictures that's not healthy and it's not real life And it can lead to severe mental health issues, severe physical issues. I mean, how many little girls or adolescents or teens or young adults who are already struggling with body image are going to watch and look at Kim Kardashian and think, oh, maybe I'll do it that fast too. Let me look at the quick ways I can. I'm not saying Kim did it in an unhealthy way that you or I would be exposed to. Maybe she paid to have it done in a healthier way because she has the money to do that. I don't know that there is a healthy way to lose it that quickly, but maybe there is. I don't know. But do you think that a kid is going to look that deep into it and think that hard about it. No. I know a lot of smart kids, but there's a lot of kids that are going to be like, oh, Kim Kardashian did it quick. Let me do it quick. And they, she, she wasn't even big. And I'm sure most of the little girls that are watching her aren't overweight, but they're going to think they are. 
because of her now. Oh, she had to lose 15 pounds or 10 pounds, however much it was. What does that make me? I get it. You know, I'm not one that's going to make a celebrity have their entire fan base on their shoulders because that can lead to their own problems of drug addiction, drug overdose, depression, anxiety, suicide, all of their own health struggles. But like Bethany said, did she have to say it publicly? She could have lost the weight, fit to her dress, and not said a word about how or that she did. But she chose to open her mouth, which is beyond her job as an entertainer, if you can call it that. And specifically say that she lost weight to fit in a dress in a short amount of time. That goes beyond job description. And I'm not saying that celebrities can't be people and talk about their real life and all of that. But I just think that she should have been more careful. And more considerate of who her audience is and how impressionable they are. That's my main thing lately is kids don't have good, solid people to look up to. And if they don't come from a family of strong, solid people they can look up to, they're going to, whether we like it or not, look up to celebrities and look who they've got. You could say, oh, she's a lawyer now, she's a smart woman, she's a rich woman who did so much to get herself there, great. But she also made stupid decisions. And it just sucks that kids are exposed to this because it's not going to help their body image or their thoughts about themselves and about life and their friends and and I think that's where it starts I've been thinking very hard about the trauma that people have gone through over the last few years specifically, but even beyond that and where it starts. You know, there's so many people already struggling, but I don't think enough consideration and concern is put into prevention. We worry when it is either too late, which hopefully it's not even if they're already in the process of a downfall, But why not get to these kids before it starts? Show them that they're unique and amazing the way they are. And they don't need to do anything to be like anybody else that they may look up to or their friends or anything like that. They're unique and that's okay. It's great even. I just... I've always had a passion for prevention when it comes to addiction and, you know, mental health problems and all of that, but I never knew how to get to them. And silly, because I've had a YouTube channel for 10 plus years. And like I said before, they're all on electronics. Where are they? Their faces are right here. So if the only way that we can combat Hollywood and what these kids are watching now is to put content out there that tells them a different story about themselves. I'm willing to do it. And if you are a YouTube creator and you're watching this video, I encourage you to do the same. And if you're watching this and you watch many other channels, I encourage you to Give them the idea that maybe they should do that. Because you're kidding yourself if the kids Kids aren't aren't bypassing the age limits and watching all of our videos. They're not just watching 
the kid videos or the kid the videos set for kids or whatever it is. They're watching and paying attention. So give them something good to pay attention to. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. Please share this video if you think that it can help a parent or a child that you know. And I will be making a lot more content like this because it's really important, I think. Especially during Mental Health Awareness Month. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.